In this video, I'm going to investigate into a network traffic activities within PCAP file using Wireshark version 4. The scenario I am going to use in this demonstration is an bad AOL instant messenger. It's well known forensic investigation case for network forensic. By the end of this video, you will learn how to decode the traffic view data within a network traffic and recover Microsoft Word document. Recover a Microsoft Word document from the traffic that being sent via AOL Messenger. This scenario and the backup file are available to download from the Forensic Contest website. The link will be in the description below. Let's start. As you are forensic investigator or student or whoever you are trying to understand Wireshark and trying to investigate into network traffic, first thing you need to do is always, if there is a case scenario, go and read the case scenario. Okay, go and read the case scenario. As you can see in the right, this is our case scenario. What you expect? To get from the case scenario, you expect to grab some keywords, write down the keywords to know your scope of work. Okay, to know your scope of work and what you expect to do exactly. From the case scenario, I'm not going to read it all. You can read it by yourself. Just stop the video right now, read it, and then uh, run the video again. From the case scenario, we have the suspect name is Anne trying to transfer data or leaking data to a competitor company that means an insider trade and the name of the file or the file is related to secret recipe a secret recipe okay then the next paragraph, it mentioned there is an expected laptop connected to the network. Okay. Then the ID provide us with the IP address of an computer, which is 192.168.1.158. This is the most important bit for you right now, the IP address. This will make your life easier because we will use filtering options within Wireshark to filter the traffic relate to this IP address. Then, what's your mission? Your mission is to figure out who and messaging, what she sent, and recovering the evidence if there is any, okay? We will find all of this and we will recover Word document, Microsoft Word document. And here is some questions that we will try to answer during our investigation, okay? During our investigation. Let's start. As I said, download the evidence file from the website and just drag and drop to the Wireshark. This is what you will see, okay? This is what you'll see. The time, source IP address, destination IP address, and the protocol, the lint, and some other information, the port numbers, the source port number, and destination port number, and other packet information, okay? But what you can see here, there is many, many IP addresses, different data, VMware, and different IP addresses. Let's filter down to just our IP address. It's easy. You just need to you just need to type in the filtering section IP address equal to 192.168.1.158 and then hit enter okay and now you just been you just view any connection to this IP address from or to, okay, from or to, because we haven't specified it's uh, the source or destination, okay. That mean 192.168.1.158, and it's here as 
the destination as at source as as well then <clears throat> from the first packet number 23 we can see the destination is 64122450 and the protocol is ssl and this contain data okay contain data and we cannot be able to to view this data but the first thing you need to do is to find out who is 64122450 and from the basic network knowledge you will notice that this is public IP address this is a public IP address okay this is a public IP address what we can do then uh -huh, it's easy just go to any website to know who's belong uh, who who who's this IP address belong to the DNS name the website I usually use is who is okay who is then just type 64.12.24.50 and hit enter and straight away we can note the the name the owner is AOL okay AOL AOL that mean this is the AOL okay this uh, this is their website this messaging uh, website this is a Martin Lewis he's well known uh, person here in UK uh, in money advice and so on if you are in UK you know his face if you are outside UK just uh, search about him okay Martin Lewis uh, this is AOL, the website of AOL, and now we know and connected to AOL. Okay, that's great, isn't it? That's great. We managed to at least confirm right now and connected to AOL um, messenger provider. Then let's investigate more. Okay, let's investigate more. What we can see here, the protocol is SSL. SSL and we note that this IP address relate to AOL and the protocol is SSL why is that because AOL try to communicate using port 443 this to avoid uh, detection and blocking by um, firewall and intrusion detection system okay that use uh, HTTPS and uh, traffic to allow the communication but however this is not the correct uh, this is not the correct protocol okay this is not the correct protocol the good thing with Wireshark you can change it to AOL protocol and what you can see the info there is containing data there is nothing it's not nothing you can you cannot read anything here okay you cannot read anything what we will do right now we will decode the information to a readable human format okay to a readable uh, uh, readable human format first thing we will change the protocol and then the coding um, uh, the decoding um, technique right click decode as decode as and then let's change the first thing is the field to tcb okay to tcb where is it tcb port and then let's change the decoding just a second it take time the decoding to a i m okay aol instant messaging okay it stand for aol instant messaging and once i click ok just focus here okay focus on the data here on 25th and 23rd okay Fox here let me click save and here is it now you can read uh, the information okay now you can read the information because we already changed the protocol to aim uh, <clears throat> uh, tcb uh, uh, the decoding to A aim and Wireshark allow us to read uh, the data that uh, travel from the source and destination. Okay, let's get to the next point. 
Now, first, what is the name of Anne's I am body? We try, we'll try to find who Anne sent the message to. The first message, there is nothing. Let me click here. There is nothing visible for us. Uh, third one, there is nothing visible. Fourth one, uh, sorry, the third one, the 25. Let's see what we can, outgoing message. We may get interesting information. And here is it. Secure user one or sick 558 user one this is the body of the message okay this is the answer of the first question and it's already outgoing to and it's already written here secure or sick 558 user one okay uh let's try to find more information uh here and there i think that, that that's it from this packet let's jump to find more information then the second question, what was the first comment in the capture IME conversation? We'll try to find uh, what being sent, okay? What being sent. Um, <clears throat> let's find. Let's, we are still in number 25, number 31. Let's try to find if there is anything has been sent. Here is it. Okay. Here is the value message here is the secret recipe i just downloaded it from the live server just copy them and so on and so on and so on you can read it and scroll down here and read it then this is the first message because why i said this is the first message if you if you go to mess message number 23 or 24 there is nothing in 25th this is the first one this is the first message and send to uh, the receiver okay to six four and so on now we need to look for what is the name of the file and transferred. Aha, uh -huh. this get a little tricky, okay? This get a little tricky. You need to do some kind of research online and find out the transfer, uh, the, uh, the AOL instant message file transfer, what port they use exactly, okay? What port they use exactly. And already I typed this one in Google. Where is, where is Google? And I found that, uh, I, I just wrote IME file transfer port. I found that it's nine, five, nine, sorry, 5190, okay, 5910. Just type it one, the down 5190. And then you can, you can filter just by this port, TCB port, just type and, and TCB port 5190. And then you will filter just five nine five one nine zero okay but there's no money you can just score down like this and you you may find it okay however i will use different technique now okay because we have from the keywords from the keywords there is secret and there's recipe okay it's more likely the file name is secret or recipe let's click here find in the bucket and what i'm trying to find within the packet byte if it's within the packet byte okay that means anything written there and keep it as a string and now i will type secret let's try type secret okay find there is secret there is uh, secret there is this data information here is the secret recipe and so on but not the file name we're looking for the file name okay just enter 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 find find you don't find anymore let's try recipe okay recipe that means what you learn right now to find a keyword within the within the packet or network traffic click find and here is it okay just I clicked find one find and here is it. it's recipe dot uh docx dot docx write down the name of it recipe dot docx and this confirms straight away it confirmed for us it's a word document okay it's a word document that mean now <clears throat> what's the name of the file of untransferred you just type recipe uh, dot docx okay what's the magic number of that file and so on let's uh, what's the secret recipe let's now 
try to recover recover um recover the file to your own computer okay how to recover the file where we found this file is it's here isn't it it's on 92 it's fine no it's it's on here in uh, in 112 okay this is the package what you can do right now right click follow the tcb stream okay follow tcb stream and now you have all communication related to this one the recipe okay dot document but however we are not interesting to for every communication we are interesting in only one direction okay this is the first one one direction now now this is the file let me let let me open it from entire conversation i cannot straight away it's pk uh, pk file that means it's microsoft word usually uh, or microsoft document files uh, and it start from here the file start from here okay the file start from here and end here okay if you keep the entire conversation but however let's click just one way of the conversation this one the first one just click the first one and now you get the recipe file here is it Okay, here is it. And what I'm going to do right now to export it outside. Okay, to export it. I will show data as raw data. Raw data. And then I will save it. Okay, and then I will save it. Save as. I will save it on my computer. There is a folder called I name it Wireshark, I think this folder, I will name it, let's say, recipe, R, E, C, B, okay, dot, D, O, C, uh, D, O, C, X, isn't it, D, O, C, X, and then save, let me, let me, before we open, let me open my computer, and to see there is nothing on, on the Wireshark, okay, this is this is my computer and there is nothing let's let's save it and here is it we just managed to recover the folder okay you don't need to do anything right now you just you, you don't need to open it using a hex editor or anything microsoft word will fix this one for us okay will fix this one for us double click we get error message because yeah, it's unreadable format because there is some bytes are missing in the beginning and, uh, and the magic number and so on. Uh, we can just type yes. And here is it. We just got the file. Okay, it's, it's too big the size of the file. Let me. And this is the file we just managed to recover. Okay, the recipe. And the Microsoft has done uh the craving and recover the folder for us okay that means this is the secret recipe your task right now is to post in the comment the mt5 sum of of this file that we just recovered okay and then the magic number of the file Remember, the magic number is the first couple of the byte of the file, okay? Uh, and that's it. And see you in the next video. Thank you very much.